Qualitative structure analysis enables you to understand structural behavior without complex maths. Understanding structural behavior is a key skill that every civil and structural engineer should have. In this tutorial, I will walk you through a simple process to draw bending moment diagram for a propped cantilever beam with internal pin. This is part 16 of my lecture series on iStructE certificate course in structural behavior. In this example, we have to draw the bending moment diagram for this prop cantilever. The key thing to note here is that we have this internal pin. There are four options to choose from. If you want to try this question first before watching this tutorial, go to this link or scan this barcode to try the quiz first. To solve this question, I will go through two methods. One is when you are in a situation where you have MCQ and then you want to use process of elimination to solve one question, there's a quick way. And another way is a detailed way where nothing is given and you want to draw bending moment, shear force diagram and reactions. And the timestamps will be down below in description just in case if you wanted to go through quicker or detailed way. Let me first go through the quick way. Uh, this is structure it has got four uh, reaction a roller support will have one reaction a fixed support will have three reaction horizontal vertical and moment by the looks of it it looks it is indeterminate structure but it is not it has got this internal pin to find out a static indeterminacy we have formula si is equal to unknowns minus equilibrium equations unknowns here are four and equilibrium equations are three summation of horizontal forces equal to zero summation of vertical forces equal to zero and summation of moment equal to zero so when i subtract this three i get static indeterminacy as one but as we have this internal pin it will reduce one force it will reduce moment internal pin cannot take any moment so i will have to subtract that one force from here so static indeterminacy is zero which means that it is statically determinate structure now why do we need to know that if it is determinate or indeterminate structure so we can solve determinate structure with the help of three equilibrium equations this means that we can solve it using simple maths we don't need any complex methods force or displacement method to solve this structure the easy way would be to first of all eliminate the options you can see option a is not uh, possible because at roller support it's got a moment moment at a roller support is not possible pin and roller will not have any resisting uh, moment and then i have option d in option d you can see that we don't have any sagging moment at this part if it was a cantilever only cantilever if there was no support here then i would say yes it will have this kind of bending moment diagram but because it's a propped cantilever that means that this diagram is not possible this uniformly distributed load is going to produce some kind of sagging over here which is not visible here so these two options are gone now it leaves me with option b and option c now they are pretty much similar you can see a pin cannot take any moment so that's why moment is zero at that point but there are two values over here 120 and 180 so which one is correct so first of all let me call this point as a let me call this point as b and let me isolate the pin part so isolating pin part will give me this stuff we have one vertical reaction i call this as b so vb and we have udl of 10 kilonewton per meter and it is two meters away from here let's assume for a minute that this pin this internal pin have action and reaction on one side it will be upwards on other side it will be downwards assuming that this is a pin support so there will be a temporary a reaction over here as well the total load is 10 into 2 which is 20 kilonewton and it will be equally divided between two parts which means vb is 10 kilonewton as well and here it is 10 kilonewton 
Now, secondly, we have to work out this resisting moment. I call this as MA. So if you some moment, if you say summation of all moments at A is equal to zero, you will be able to find out the resisting moment. And in that way, we'll be able to confirm that this value is 180 or 120. So sum, summing up moments at A, I have assumed that resisting moment is MA, which is a clockwise moment. And the load is 10 kN per meter. So this load will be acting downwards and it will be acting at half of the distance. The total distance is six. So the load from here to here will have three meter lever arm. So as it is downwards, creating a clockwise moment. So 10 times that is distributed on six times uh, three, three is the distance. This resultant is acting from the end support and take away we will have vb that is vertical reaction at b times lever arm lever arm is going to be six so vertical reaction at b is 10 kN. so 10 times six it will give me a 60 so 60 times 3 is 180 you take away a 60 is equal to zero so m a is equal to minus 120 kilonewton meter if i bring it on the other side and negative sign indicates that it is hogging moment that means that our option b is the correct one option c is incorrect if you want it you can confirm this value of 5 kN as well if you look over here it is a simply supported beam and the formula for moment sagging moment for simply supported beam is wl square over 8 w is 10 l is 2 over here square over 8 so if you simplify this you will get 5 kN meter so it confirms that we have this moment right as well so this was a very simple and quick way to solve this structure how about if you have complex beam and if you have multiple supports and you have internal pin how do you solve uh, that structure so now i will go through second process now and there are timestamps in the description down below feel free to move around so let's go to the second method In second method, I call this point as VB, we have VA, we have HA, and we have moment at A, and I call this point as D. So here I will have, first of all, first strategy will be to find out uh, this reaction. I will isolate it so that we can find out the moment from left and moment from right at this point D. So first I will say a summation of moment at D from right is equal to zero and this will give me VB. And secondly, I will say that a summation of a moment, this is summation of moment at A is equal to zero. This will give me resisting moment MA. So in that way, I can solve it in a simple way. This is sufficient information for uh, solving the structure when you have MCQ situation. But if you wanted to find out all the reactions, uh, then simply the third process, I will say summation of MD at left is equal to zero. This will give me VA. Fourthly, I will say summation of vertical forces is equal to zero. I will use this for verification and finally i will be able to find out mc as well when i have all the reactions so firstly let me find out md right so if you think that this is x x if you find out moment from right that will be equal to vb times the distance this distance is two meters plus in fact this is creating anti-clockwise moment so i will say minus vb times two plus 
10 times 2 times half of 2 is 1 that is equal to 0 and from here I can get value of VB as 20 divided by 2 so this will give me 10 kN. So once I have value of uh, VB then uh, the second is I will find out summation of moment at A is equal to 0. Now summation of moment at A it, it will give me MA that is clockwise plus 10 times 6 6 is the total distance from a to b times 6 divided by 2 that is the place where this is acting from the support that is 3 meters minus vb vb is creating anti-clockwise moment so it will be vb times 6 is equal to 0 now if you put value of vb over here ma plus 180 minus vb is 10 times 6 is equal to 0 this will give me value of ma as minus 120 kilonewton meter that is in hawking now once i've got these values to find out reaction at a third step is to find out summation of moment left so moment left at this point that will be equal to ma plus va times 4 distance from a to d is 4 meters minus 10 times 4 so load from 10 kN per meter times 2 that is equal to 0 so ma has got value 120 plus va times 4 minus 80 is equal to zero so minus 120 minus 80 is minus 200 va will be equal to 200 divided by 4 and this will give me 50 kilonewton so once i've got these values then i can use fifth step to verify that is va plus vb is equal to total load total load is 10 times 6 va is 50 plus vb is 10 equal to 60 it means that our values are fine final thing is to find out mc so mc can be found out that will lie at the center center of this uh, support that will create a sagging moment mc will be equal to vb that is minus vb times 1 plus 10 into 1 into 1 over 2 so vb is 10 so this is minus 10 plus 5 so mc is equal to minus 5 kilonewton meter minus 5 negative moment means anti-clockwise moment from right side is going to create sagging moment it will not be hogging moment so if you plot the bending moment diagram here we have a pin so it will be like this so here we have five kilonewton meter and this is a and this is b and here we have 120 kilonewton meter this is how we plot bending moment diagram and find uh, reactions for a prop cantilever beam so the correct answer is option b where we have hogging moment of 120 kilonewton and sagging moment of five kilonewton meter if you wanted to have a look at other similar uh, tutorials, simply go to this link or scan this barcode to have a look at entire video series. You can also download the slides by going to this URL or scan this barcode. Thanks for watching this lecture today. I will see you in my next lecture.